Hi boys and girls and welcome to today's Read Aloud with Pete the Cat. Today's story is called Pete the Cat Out of This World. All right. It's a great day. Pete the Cat is going to space camp. That sounds fun. Pete meets his bunkmate Glenn. As they unpack, there is an announcement. Welcome space campers. Please head to the classroom. Your mission begins now. Time to suit up, says Pete. He and Glenn put on their uniforms and race to class. There are so many cool things to do and super neat stuff to see. Astronauts Tom and Chris talk about the trips they've taken, and they give a sneak peek at future space trips. It would be totally rad to go to space, says Pete. Who would want to be an astronaut and go in a spaceship to outer space? I would. I'd be very scared, but I love to learn about space and the universe. The campers find out what it feels like to be an astronaut. They go in the zero gravity chamber. They ride in rovers. They even build rockets. Pete's rocket flies very, very far. Way to go, Pete, shouts Glenn. Next stop is mission control. We have some exciting news, says Tom. Our next flight leaves today. We're going to the moon, and we have room for more. Pete, do you want to go, asks Sally. That would be awesome, says Pete. It's time to buckle up and settle into the space capsule. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Their ship speeds through space. They blast past a satellite and even spot a comet. Tom and Sally have a rockin' surprise for Pete, his guitar. He plays a groovy interstellar song for them. Mission Control listens in. In no time at all, they arrive on the moon. They are ready to explore. The astronauts collect rocks and map out the moon's surface. Pete has a very important job to do. He straps on a jetpack and heads toward Mars. He takes tons of pictures. Oh no, Pete lost track of time and the moon is far, far away. He has to make it back to the ship before it blasts off. Phew, Pete made it back in the nick of time. The astronauts head home and there's time for a few more tunes. Pete sure knows how to make an entrance. Pete's trip to outer space was out of this world. Still, he's psyched to have his feet back on solid ground. Rock it on, Pete. This book reminds me of um, the slime video that we watched and that Mrs. Holman also shared on Dojo about what astronauts, um, kind of like how they were floating in space and they were working with slime. So if you get a chance, go back and watch that. That was really cool. Thanks for reading with me today. I'll see you tomorrow for another adventure with Pete the Cat. Bye.